and you'll see this because uh, uh, our first survey, uh, yeah, our first test is actually a survey which is based on those uh, events. Okay, so we're in, uh, we're in the course now, and uh, the course is, uh, as you see, it's, it's divided up into sections, okay, and we're in now the introduction uh, uh, section, welcome to e-learning, and, you know, the idea, again, they've shown that when they go into Blackboard that, you know, uh, again, they, you know, they're going to experience some of the tools uh, that they're going to encounter in some of the aspects of of an online course uh, that they're going to encounter when they take any regular online course. And um, can emphasize them to follow the directions. And um, now, uh, again, use, uh, that just really has video, it has <coughs> instructions, there's going to be in the video, uh, it's in text, and there's another checkpoint telling them, did you review the content check? So that you can continue to the next step. Um, we know that we want, like, uh, not everybody's going to be um, doing that, but. Um, Welcome to online learning at Hostos Community College. This is, uh, this is the, uh, uh, the other uh, developer for the course, Aaron Davis. He's actually. Uh, online learning is a course delivery system. It was instructed in one location and a little bit of the narration. This online interaction that was displaced in other departments. You use a software called Video Prime. You can use a software called Video Prime. You can use a software called Video Prime. But don't think that just because a course is online, it's any easier. Online courses are designed with the same learning objectives as face-to-face classes and require a certain level of proficiency with technology. Participating in an online class requires the following. Access to a suitable computer, a moderate degree of familiarity with computer network and internet skills, ability to follow scheduled assignments and requirements, ability to follow and retain written and video instructions, interactions, and discussions, good written communication skills through technology tools such as email, forums, and blog, and the ability to work collaboratively with those you may not meet in person. This assessment is divided into six sections. After each section, you will be required to take a short quiz to help assess if you understood the content in each section. You will not be able to take a quiz without taking a previous quiz. But don't worry, you can take a quiz as many times as you need. After you've completed all six sections, click on the Am I Ready section on the left side of the bar to see if you are ready for an online class. Good luck, and again, welcome to Online Learning at Post Community College. So, uh, the approach to this, uh, we wanted to make sure that the video is not uh, a talking head, and the usual videos that will sometimes are dry and then you will get more to watch the video, so we wanted to, for this to become a little interactive. So students responded really well on how, how it was developed. So all the videos have this, this approach. And um, so uh, it's the same content presented in a, in a different way. Uh, one of the things that happened, if you notice, we said that uh, when we created this initial stage of the pilot, we said, well, you can take the quizzes as many times as you want. So we wanted to then we change that um, Approach and we just put a note there. We, have to, uh, we are working on, on the second, the second uh, version of this course, but we wanted to put um, a limitation on how many times the students would take this this quiz, and then what's going to happen after they fail the third time. So uh, there is there are instructions there now that they indicate that if you fail, you can take it um, three times. If you fail the third time, you have to go to the anti office. That you can talk to an instructional designer and you can go over the course. The courses are not hard, and for the most part, they just don't, don't read the instructions, they do not watch the videos. Like, I would just want to rush, I just want to click on it, and, and I thought the second time that I tried, and I, I, would, I would get it right, and then they, they got stuck. They cannot move to the, to, the, to the next level and complete that course until uh, they come to the office, and then they have a conversation with the instructional designer. And I think there was not many, yeah. not yeah. many students that came to the to the, uh, to the office of educational technology, and uh, the number one reason was well, I, I was not paying attention. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, I know that I uh, assisted a student that had failed it uh, three times and came to the office, and you kind of walk them through the questions a little bit. You want to get more Socratic, uh, uh, eliciting you know the correct responses. 
Yeah, he had told me he had actually taken online courses previously and done, and done very well, but he wasn't paying attention. He was just looking mm -hmm. randomly, you know, just, uh, just assumed that, you know, it was just passive. So. Okay, so they, you, this, all these sections work the same way. Uh, um, you know, they're asked to, you know, uh, to, you know, study the content, uh, look at the video if they want, and then when they feel that they, uh, you know, have massive material in that they, they check. Again, a, a standard Blackboard tool to review, okay? And then when they do that, the test, for this case, the sur for this first section, the survey appears, the link to the survey appears, and so they take the, And again, like I said, this this introductory survey is um, uh, is, is almost like uh, uh, that's often uh, the test uh, that, that uh, you know you see in other colleges the self the assessment test, so-called test. And you can see it's you know plays on people's. Uh, you know, how they, you know, how they'll feel, how they feel about themselves. I am good at setting goals and deadlines for myself. Of course I am. Uh, I <laughs> set deadlines for an assignment all the time. Uh, I am good at finishing projects that I start always do. Uh, I have no trouble following written directions. Of course. Follow rules. I have no trouble following recorded audio and video instructions. I'm always listening to that stuff. I am willing to use email or online chat to discuss topics and ask questions. I'm always chatting. I have uh, the motivation to spend 10 to 20 hours per week on an online course. I guess eight now. Uh, and, so and so this is just a survey. But um, okay. Okay, save and submit. said, you know, basically I completed it. So now the link appears uh, to move on to section one. Oops, actually I think we were supposed to have nine, right? Yeah, yeah let me go back. Sorry about that. Section one, okay, and show the video for this. Welcome back to the online learning uh, assessment. This section is dedicated to answering the question: What happy to drive hybrid classes as having the best of both worlds? The second type of online course is called the asynchronous course. This means that eight percent of the class will be conducted in Blackboard. This allows you to participate. That means you'll be required to work on projects alone with little, with little interaction with other students. Of course, you know, we make that point that often talk to you know, there, there can actually be a lot of collaborative work. Okay, so, um, you know, so that, that's uh, basically it. That's, you know, each of those sections are all structured a lot. They, uh, there's actually some, uh, 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 the, uh, the format, some of the tests,
at the end, uh, at the end, if they, uh, you know, and they, at the end, when they pass every, all the sections, again, they cannot move, they cannot proceed to one section without passing the previous day. Uh, at the end, they, um, uh, they receive a badge and a, a printable certificate they, that they can actually bring to their, you know, the professor to show that they, you know, they need to work with, you know, they take the high grade or they need to use for. Yeah, so, some of the, uh, the professors that you have from that, uh, the, the survey that we asked to, to students, uh, we said that 57% uh, of the students uh, uh, took hybrid at most students. They have uh, about 50% had no experience, uh, or some of them uh, took 40 online courses at most. So it's just, we wanted to get this information um, just for us to have a sense of the population of students, how many of them had experience that uh, did not. Uh, so, there was from those uh, total number of students that uh, took the course, 179 class and 32 had to be taken. So I said there's a few students who just had to come to the person to the office. Um, and then uh, we had, we were also able to see which of the quizzes uh, were, was the, was the, were the one that I students took the most to get. That helped us also to understand uh, the different modules. Um, and so there are different approaches and those approaches depend on your institution, right? So in our case, uh, at this stage, uh, we could not make this to be a mandatory, we could not make this to be a requirement for all online courses. So um, there's a number of um, issues that are a reality for our institution, but um, the idea would be that all every student that takes an online course would have to take this this type of uh, that uh, online readiness course so that you make sure that students are aware, are ready to um, to uh, take the online course. So um, we, in our case, the faculty participation and enforcement are critical until uh, it, it is a different a different way to to um, embed this to the, to the courses. Uh, the instructions on how the assessment works needs to be constantly reinforced. So that uh, you know that is in, in teaching is is, is key. Um, and the uh, the one piece, as I we mentioned before, right, those who took the quizzes admitted that they just rushed and didn't pay attention. So that was critical. The content is um, we're talking about time management. We're talking about technical literacy. So we want to make sure that the students are um, exposed to uh, to those useful. Um, So the data that we're collecting from, from the course, the interactivity from the students with the course is helping us to uh, identify the uh, appropriateness of the sections and the questions coming up more, with more, more questions to the pools, um, identifying also interaction, how the student uh, is able to interact with different tools. If you have to submit an assignment, so to provide an exercise, the students are able to submit an assignment and they're being able to be more in the technical piece of, of how they could um, uh, work with uh, Blackboard in this case. Um, the interactivity uh, discussion for the other tools that are less were <coughs> incorporated into the, the course so that students have that exposure before they take the class. Um, and then um, the adaptive release, as, as we said, this uh, is ordering the sections, and I just giving them step by step. They have the same thing just go from uh, yeah. one to the other. Because when I was when I was developing it, I, and and, and uh, Aaron joined in, um, he's, he's a later arrival, uh, he's in uh, higher uh, uh, college. Um, I had a I had a, uh, a few philosophical problems about the idea of. Of, uh, this stepwise uh, growth, as uh, uh, you know, as somebody who who can master online learning and you know familiarity with the online environment, you know, kind of suggested some sort of evolution or something. And I I, I was sort of more the idea of that they could randomly go into any section, but then take the you know randomly take the test. Uh, but 
we decided, I think, you know, at least, you know, probably, probably make it a little bit simpler for students to go through a clear pathway. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait a minute. So we are, uh, we're going to be launching the, uh, the second version of our, our already uh, this, this coming semester. And the, we're using the same, the same elements that, uh, that we have at the beginning. The only thing that we are adding here is, um, is being able to practice with different tools and, and see how, how that goes. And mm -hmm. we're going to be, one of the things that we did not do, we had the, the pre-survey, we're going to be adding the post-survey to be able to see what the changes are in their, their um, how they were coming to, to understand all of these different concepts. Mm -hmm. So, um, questions, any questions that are? I have a couple. Um, so we had kind of talked about maybe trying to collaborate and um, I think this is really awesome and so I think if we try to collaborate we might have come together nicely and incorporate our stuff really well but um, for those of us who are at CUNY, can, could, would I be able to go on and search and access this? That's one of the things, like as CUNY, we are kind of a, 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 mm -hmm. a unique institution but we have our own challenges in being able to collaborate and you might have those institutions that have a, Different colleges, the collaborations sometimes are are, are not as mm -hmm. as seamless as we would love to, right? <laughs> <laughs> to use to use a nice nice word, nice word. Um, so yes, no, I mean, it's 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 possible to to be able and it's Blackboard. Right? For all, for all of those for a few that use in Blackboard, we can always uh, just yeah. are you you raising your course at Blackboard and QE? Oh yeah, then you can be enrolled in the course. Um, so my other question is. Um, related to enticing students to actually do this, are your faculty making it a requirement um, that they that the, that the students do it, or how are you actually getting your students to do it? Because we're telling students it's a requirement, but then actually getting we have almost five thousand students, so actually getting five thousand students and forcing them to do it is is not something that we have the power to do um, in our <coughs> department. So. We're really relying on faculty to make it a requirement and giving them like five points or something as a bonus, but not all the faculty do it. So I'm curious what you're doing. The same thing. The same thing. Um, um, one of the things that, um, that happens, and it's just the nature of our institution, we have to go through governance and we have to make sure that it is not um, providing or causing any indicators union wise and, and things like that. So. Um, we, uh, we are relying on, on the faculty. Um, one of the things that, um, that is, is useful is for faculty to be able to get those reports on, on, their, on their students taking the courses and then uh, inviting them to do the, to do the, uh, the assessment on, on whether it made a difference for those students that, that took the, the, the course. And so for the most, for the most part of this, this pilot, they just said, you know, I want for you to take this this course, and you need to make sure that uh, you bring me that certificate. And then, and also, um, it's, it was more in face-to-face -face courses, but uh, you know, the, the first week of classes, the students don't remember their passwords, don't have access to to black. They say, I never, they never gave me a password. I, and you have you have all the different excuses. And that happens every single semester, and sometimes it's the same student. So, uh, uh, this gives an opportunity for faculty to not be spending time on that particular issue. Because the students come here, in order for them to be in this course, they have to have solved the problem of having their password, the username, have access to the course, knowing where to go in Blackboard, navigating Blackboard. So, um, in an indirect way, they're learning how to navigate through Blackboard. So as a faculty member, I just go look for my course the same place that you found the online readiness course. So for them, it's not, it's nothing, it's nothing new. It so helps in that, in that sense. Yeah, and you know, I know especially, um, especially with the adjuncts, uh, uh, you know, at Hallstones, um, you know, with their busy schedule,